Hi all, it's Edie again from Virtually In Sync and the Video Kickstarters Facebook group. I've done this before, but I wanted to come back in since I just did a video on a new tool that StoryBase has called Demographics, and it's actually a search demographics tool. And so I kind of wanted to come in and do a quick refresher for StoryBase for those of you who perhaps did not see my first video on this, but StoryBase is a tool and a platform that I've fallen in love with. I've known about it for the past couple of months, and it is a tool that I recommend to all of my clients as well as students, and I also use it myself when I'm trying to figure out the best ways to come up with content to create my videos. Now, you don't need to only use this for videos. You can use this um, to create blogs as well. But obviously my form of blogging is video, so that's what I'm using it for. So I just wanted to remind everyone exactly how to use this tool. So we're gonna go out and then come back in. So we go to storybase.com. And we go in and I type in the keyword term. So I'm going to do email marketing and hit search. And the first search section is questions. And basically what I love about this is that I found that the easiest way to create content for your audience is to answer a question. And so what you need to know is what is the question that your audience is asking? There's a multitude of different ways that you can find out. Surveying, going on social media, looking at comments on your blogs, etc. Or you can use a tool like this and you can type in your keyword term. In this instance, we've typed in email marketing. And the first section is all of the questions that it sort of has scraped together from searching um, on Google. So obviously some of the no-brainer questions will be like, what is email marketing? Or how to do email marketing? Or why email marketing? Or maybe why is email marketing important? Does email marketing work? How to email marketing? So, and some of them aren't like proper English. Um, and depending on what service it is that you have, you may only have a small number of suggestions if you have the free version. If you have um, paid versions, it's gonna vary. As I've mentioned before, I'm an ambassador, so I have all, I, it's just, I can get as many results as I want. So this will um, showcase all of the different questions that you can find. Now, the thing that you need to uh, look at is over here where it says popularity. So obviously if it's a full line, it's extremely popular. It's probably the number one question that's posted on Google. And in fact, let's look. So what is email marketing? And I'm assuming that there's gonna be a lot of results. 55 million results. <laughs> so that is a very popular term. So that makes sense as to why it's so popular. So you can just go down the line and see how popular those terms are. And this has, um, it looks like two pages of results. And you pick the terms and the questions that suit your answers. If you're gonna be able to answer these questions. Now, I wouldn't worry about these two down here that barely have anything. This one is called, what is a what is a bounce rate in email marketing and what is a suppression list? A su yeah, suppression list in email marketing. So those two, you may not wanna worry about because they had the least amount of results. So I would focus on, um, not necessarily, it depends on, We I think we, I closed, no, I opened up the window. So you can try to see, see there's a lot of Wikipedia, um, you could try that. I would still try to use the very first one, which is um, what is email marketing? I will. I would try that along with um, some other terminologies and see if those questions will get you somewhere. Um, now phrases, which I may not have gone into in too depth 
of, uh, or too in depth, is basically the place that you come to so that you can brainstorm. It sort of expands your email terms, or your, sorry, you're not your email terms, your keyword terms, a little bit broader for you. So it gives you some ideas and other ways of thinking on um, things that you can perhaps create. Here's some examples. So you go down here, you say email marketing, email marketing services, email marketing software, email marketing best practices. That could be a term that you use so that you can teach people the best practices that they should use when doing email marketing. You may want to offer some email marketing tips. You may have some email templates that you can offer because everybody always wants to see how the experts are doing it. And so if you have some sort of a template, that's also still a popular, very popular term. So that might actually um, help you. Maybe you're really an email marketing agency. And so that's a, also a very popular term. If you have email marketing lists, uh, what is email marketing? Best email marketing service. So it just gives you a lot of ideas to sort of think beyond where you're thinking right now. Because remember, the email, uh, the terms that we just used to get all of this was just simply email marketing. And that's a very generic term. So maybe in going through this, you can get some more specific information that will help you um, broaden out the list of people that you might find that will be able to um, help you and 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 not help you but that would that you would be able to service um, through doing something like this and then related related is just terms that are used in conjunction sometimes with email marketing or whatever the term is. In this instance, it's email marketing. So sometimes advertising or advertise definitely autoresponder um, would be used or autoresponder software, maybe perhaps affiliating, affiliate marketing, things of that nature. Those would be terminologies that you may find um, in conjunction with email marketing. So again, this is something that might help you sort of expand a little bit and really zero in on what your audience is interested in. And again, it does touch a little bit on um, the demographics just like it did um, in the other video that I showed you. And so the demographics for email marketing skews a bit heavy on the male and it skews hung young where it's 25 to 34 year olds that seem to be most interested in this. So if email marketing is your target audience and or your keywords and you want to see who your your target audience is, then you can see it here. Now that doesn't mean that just because it skews male and it skews young that that's who you need to go after. You can also see that it, you know, there's what? 35% are female and you know there are older age ranges so maybe you're a female you feel more comfortable offering your services to female maybe you're between the ages of 35 and 44 and that's who you would prefer to work with that audience is still viable as well so this just gives you some much needed information on a overall view from what type of questions and phrases and related terms that you can use for the keywords that you're going to use in your videos or in your content overall, okay? So I just wanted to come in and do a quick recap video because it's been a little bit of time since I've done this last and I just wanted to share this information with you. All right, take care. To learn more about StoryBase and how it works, feel free to download this free guide. Got a comment or a question? Feel free to leave it below.